Desperado, rough rider, no you don't want nada None of this, six gun in this, brother running this Buffalo soldier, look it's like I told ya Any damsel that's in distress Be out of that dress when she meet Jim West Rough neck, so go check the law on the vibe you are a greedy hog. Dude. I'm not. I'm not no motherfucking hog. Wow. What? What you gotta say? Twenty seven. This is one twenty seven. Technically one twenty eight. We had to fucking Patreon that last boy. Yeah, we had to get the evil out of us. We had a slight night cast. Yep. Real slight night cast. It had to fucking Patreon that. Yeah, old McCusky was. Uh, we were swinging for the fences, dude. Yeah, hit a uh, hit a couple sighties at the house. So vaped the pen on the way over. If this is a little too soft core for you. We got some. We got some content. Yeah, we exercised ourselves. We got some content for you. Whew. What's up, dude? Chilling, man. What you doing? Chilling. You know me. Yeah, I hear you. Just hit a little <laughs> breakfast. Just hit breakfast. Hit the so. little breakfast spot. Matt burnt his fucking tongue. I scalded. Yeah, I on some tea. I scalded my tongue on some chamomile. Dude, how do you feel about that? I got fucking attacked. <laughs> obviously, she knew. She didn't, no warning at all. I need the McDonald's warning on everything. It's like. Caution, hot she beverage. Said, this I is, should sue. She should have been like, hey, this, by the way, this, she said, is, she, this is hot as fuck. She said, caution, hot beverage. Proceed carefully. She said, this hot, this beverage hot as I fuck. I received no warning. Well, how was I to know, dude? I'm just the general public. <laughs> I was in the middle of like a conversation with Matt, and he took a sip, and he was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the McDonald's lady who just spilled coffee all over her vagina, She's dude, like, and sued. I'm suing. Did you ever see a lady who yeah. uh, scalded it? She was like, this is too hot. Yeah, it was at the drive-thru. And- yeah. Dropped a fucking boiling. I think she was balancing a cup on her fupa. She's mm-hmm. like, I usually can balance a hot cup of joe on my mm-hmm. fupa. This Dude, thing is so fucking Notre hot. Notre Dame used to have a coach with the sickest fupa really? you've ever seen. Charlie Weiss. I thought that. What, what did he call? Let me guess. Uh, O-line coach? No. He was the he was the offensive coordinator at the Patriots. And really? Then, and then became Notre Dame's head coach. You think that's where you store your football knowledge and your fupa? Definitely. You wear a visor? He was... He was the ultimate big sassy daddy. He came in talking shit. Really? And Notre Dame was good for his first two seasons. And then he went fucking three and nine and was still arrogant. It was wild. You got to be, if you're carrying around a fupa like that, dude, you got to dominate his And he had, he was fat as fuck. And then he had like gastric and they just, I think they just moved everything straight to his pubes. He had the fucking thickest fupa you've ever seen. Wait, they took it away from him? They took all his fat from like his tits and stomach and put it straight to pubes. And then he led Notre Dame to some dog shit. Oh, you think he seasons. got a surgical FUPA enhancement? I, I mean, I might get a, I might get a FUPA put on. He, his was. You've never seen anything like it, dude. My I got, I got a show. I, I don't, dude. I had I a music, I had a music food. teacher in grade school who had, honestly, dude. She's probably dead now, so I can talk about this. this ladies, lady, ladies can develop a fucking monster food. This lady had like a her FUPA was. It would kind of like you'd ever see like a stout. There's like a you'll see like a stout lady or a stout dude who has like a solid fupa that kind of like doesn't yeah. go anywhere. This lady had like a gelatinous fupa that kind of just like traveled around. Dude, I I think I talked about this before. She wore spandex. She wore spandex back in the day, dude. I'm talking about like late '90s. Yo, that's a good fupa, dude. That's just a good old fupa, dude. I think. That's that's just like when uh, someone pulls their pants off. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. what's the name of that guy? Charlie Weiss. Charlie when Weiss I, has a I, nice little when I, when dude. Was, He's literally shaped like a football. <laughs> that dude really is did. football. Oh my god! When I was working at uh, the at the ice cream factory, yeah, I was working at the factory. You had to wear a jumpsuit. <laughs> this dude called me Charlie Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, like, dude, there's a lot of good fupas going around at the ice cream factory. That's a fupa factory, really. You put on a fucking tight jumpsuit, you are foop city. <laughs> dude, foop, dude. Camel God toe foop. <laughs> dude, so my music teacher, the one time, she would, she had like a like a hanging, almost like an awning of a fupa that would kind of like just come. She would wear like tight pants too, which was really weird. But the one, dude, I'll never forget this, dude. We were in music class. She bent over to pick up like an instrument and her fupa, no lie, you know, I, I can even, I can have witnesses attest to this. Her fupa like just kind of like traveled downwards down to her, like, so she bent over. So we're like checking that ass out from behind. Yeah. Her fupa like melted down and formed what looked like a dong in her spandex. And the whole class was like, <gasps> like it, we were, I was, I was. I thought she had a dong. Honestly, my when I was like a kid, I was like, "Oh my god, the music teacher has a fucking dong." 
Turns out now that I know about FUPAs, I'm like, no, her FUPA just fucking traveled downwards by gravity. Just morphed. Bent space and time, became a fucking <laughs> dong. And we were just like, oh my God, she's a fucking dong. Oh, man. That was like the most insane FUPA stuff I've ever seen. Fat lady teachers can develop sick FUPAs. Oh, yeah, for There's sure. There's a couple at, in my high school. Yeah, they, they, they a lot of lady lady teachers can definitely fatten there up pretty There was one hard. lady that worked that was like, everybody liked her because mm-hmm. she was like sweet, I guess, to others. But she was a fucking cunt to me. Really? Yeah, but she was like, she was like fucking retarded. Like the way she would talk to me was like, she would talk, she'd be like, bad boy. You're being a bad boy. Like, oh, I don't like that. How old You're is she? You're bad. I don't know. Dude, I like genuinely. She was old. I genuinely used to try to fuck my one teacher. I'd be like, "You're so hot." And she'd be like, "Get out of my class! I'm giving you demerit." I said, "Damn!" Shamelessly, dude. Oh my god, Mrs. Grande, dude, she was so fucking hot. And I would go did in you ever her class. Off? Huh? You ever get? She it? denied me every single time. I like just watched. I just watched Bill Bellamy, How to Be a Player, and I was like, "Oh, dude, I just gotta go talk my fucking game to her." And I'd be like, "Oh, Mrs. Grande." I think you're hot. I like run away to the fucking my other class. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! She probably honestly was like. Damn. She was genuinely. She was genuinely very annoyed by me. I remember her. I oh, remember really? like sensing like genuine disgust when I'd be like, "Oh, I think you're hot, Miss Gron." I was like this little chubby kid with braces. Like, hey, what's up? So like, we gonna hang out or what? Oh, and just like run away. And then I'd like walk by and turn the ceiling fans off in her classroom from outside. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. She. I'm pretty sure she hated me. Yeah, that's a sick move, though. Oh, dude. Just walk ce- in the classroom, like, turn off the lights or... Yeah. Oh, well, the ceiling fan thing was out in the hallway, like, way down. I would just be like, everyone's getting hot. We had one lady that was crazy that we would just walk... Because there there's a door in the back and a door mm-hmm. in the front of every classroom. You'd just walk through. Like, if you were walking down the hall, you would cut in... Walk through her walk class. Walk through her class. Oh, my God. And then we did a thing where you could see how many laps you could do while she was... Teaching. It, which what would she do? She just she just at was, first she was just oblivious. Some teachers you could get like twenty laps. You can tell when teachers lack the authority to like, like dude. I I'm, I watch it right now in school that I'm in. Like there there's one guy who like can't make people be quiet, and I'm just like, dude. I don't, I'm like I go right to grade school mode. I'm like hit the fucking lights, dude. Yeah, turn the lights out. That It'll always worked. When everyone was fucking acting up. I'm like hit the fucking lights. Turn the lights off. It's always in my grade school. Undertaker. There's just like a light switch with like seven lights on it. Just fucking hit them all down. Undertaker time. Yeah, dude. He could pop up anywhere. <laughs> if you turn those lights out, he's behind you. For sure. That, that, for that would get people. That, yeah, that would get people fucking. Dude, I used to, when I was in fifth grade, I had this period where I would like lay on the floor. Did I ever talk about this? When I would, no. I would, I would spend as much time as possible. So we had like a dumb teacher in fifth grade and I would put a pencil case on the floor and just lay there and be like, dude, I'm fucking laying on the floor right now. And I would spend like 30 minutes at a clip just laying on the floor. And then I started doing a thing where I'd crawl around the class while she was teaching. Dude, it was so fucking fun. It was like a secret mission. I was so fucking bored in school that I remember being That's like, awesome. I would crawl to like my cousin's desk and like pull his pant leg and be like, yo, what's up, dude? I'm fucking down here. Like crawl back over to my boy Bert and be like, yo, what's up, fucking Bert? What are you doing, dude? And they would be like, oh, what's my, what's my doing? Dude, it was yeah. so, I had so much fucking I would fun. always tell. My friend Matt would tell on people too. Like if you like fucked with him at all, he'd be like, he would scream. What? <laughs> oh my God. What is happening? He's trying to brush his teeth. That's our audio guy. I know. Continuing. Even if he's not fucking up the audio now, he goes <laughs> in another room and throws up. What are you saying? Your boy Matt would tell no, him. If you like fucked with him at all, he would like scream. Oh He'd my like, God. Shane, stop. That's such a sick move. <laughs> it is hilarious. Was he doing it on purpose to get yeah. you guys in trouble? That's yeah. so fucking funny. He would act like he was offended. That's so fucking funny. Uh, it is funny that you can tell when a teacher's dumb. Like, even yeah. as a kid, you can be like, oh, this person's dumb. Yeah, it's crazy, I man. can do whatever I want. Dude, we had a full coup on our eighth grade teacher. People just, like, even, like, people's parents stopped being, like, I remember, like, my friend would get in trouble, and they're like, well, that lady's a fucking idiot. So they're like, whatever. Yeah. It was so fucking funny. There was one lady, we had a lady in seventh grade. This is when, in seventh grade at, at my middle school, they separated the math classes. Between A and B. Don't tell me about that, bro. That, that's still that still fucked me up. I got, I got sent to I got the minors. Dumb math, bro. <laughs> I, I was just talking minors. about that this the other day. Getting sent to dumb math was such a harsh reality, dude. I, I they did that to us. Yeah, I think math. They did reading earlier, and I remember knowing that I was not in the dumb reading class. Yeah. I, it was like I forget that I was in like Houston McMillan. I forget, they used different textbooks for like you know different levels. I got pretty high up in reading. I was stoked, and then the math came in. I'm like, clearly, I'm going to advanced math, and I got into dumb math, and I was yeah. like, fuck. 
fuck. Yeah, seventh grade, I got sent to dumb math. And it was right when I had transferred schools. So, yeah. like, every day, every single day, I'd be like, excuse me, I think there was a mistake. <laughs> I just transferred <laughs> I just transferred from Yardale, where I maintained a 4.0 grade point average. <laughs> I should be in the dumb class. <laughs> She'd be like, this isn't the dumb class. I'm like, this is the dumb class. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, genuinely upset because my cousin walked out. My cousin got selected for advanced math. And he, like, walked out was like, Oh, and I was just like, you motherfucker, dude. And then I was in dumb math at the bottom of the barrel in dumb math. There was a girl. I just would like literally just try to hand my test in as fast as I could. That was like my trick. I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to get him on the quality of this test. But, but I'm, speed. But by God, this is going to be a fast one. And wow. I used to try to take math tests as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> and I would get it all wrong. <laughs> there was one girl in particular like I have to finish before her. You got to beat her. She was definitely like. She was the leader of the dumb class. I mean, she was like, they needed another class of her. She was like, she was having a tough, back in Catholic school. But she was finishing as fast as possible, too. No, she was, she was taking her sweet old time. She would like. Oh, okay. She was, so you were just she like, was, I, I think she was like, lady. she was like, she could have got a doctor's note in terms of being dumb. They could have been like, <laughs> they could have hit her with a forest gump. Like, yeah. your boy, your girl. Yeah. She's dumb. The, she should have been in like a, a special school. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. That was the worst, like, when people would hand in their test and you were like, I'm on the fucking first page, dude. Know, what are dude. you doing? That's when I became a speed demon. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is the game we're playing. I see what's going on here. Yeah. Or, this. like, what would happen to it? It would, it would. I would just, like, take forever and see her, like, on question nine. I'm like, I'm not getting it. Because she was, she was, like, retarded. <laughs> so I'm like, dude. <laughs> like, that was a serious blow to the ego. That was, like, my competition in math. I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> At least I beat her. <laughs> One time we, we were like, all right, everybody at this time start coughing. So when the whenever the clock hit that, everyone in the class would start coughing. Why? Just to fuck with this lady. That's so fucking funny. Like, doing that. Everyone. <laughs> and then she was like, I don't know who put this together, but I'm just going to assume she just named me and my friends. <laughs> I would love, I would love to see how I can do again. So it's pretty crazy when you're a teacher, you're you're dealing with a very unruly mob. I would love to see how hard I could quell, like a bunch of fucking asshole kids just rising up against me. You just have to smash. I feel like they wouldn't though. Nowadays it must be tough. If you smash a kid, you're getting in trouble. Dude, I had a priest hit my head into a blackboard one time. That's awesome. He just walked by and went, shoved me into it. So I, I was talking she. What were you saying? I was telling. I think I talked about this before. I was talking about giving his uh, his niece was going to the school dance with like he was like going to go, and I was like I'm gonna give her ecstasy, Father Bill. And he was walking. He's like okay. Two minutes later, walked by and went plaf and hit my head. I was like darn. I was like oh, fuck. That's actually pretty funny. Good for him. It's tight that I was like I'm gonna give your niece ecstasy. I was like a sophomore. I was like that was like my best thing I could come up with. It's still pretty good. Because every, everyone I'm drug your niece. Because everyone was like, "Yeah, <laughs> your niece. Oh, your niece is coming. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see her at the dance floor." And I was just like, "I, I think I can raise. I'm gonna roofie her. I can raise the stakes <laughs> on this one. I'm gonna rape your niece. <laughs> hey, father. Hey, hey, father. But yeah, that was uh, dude. What was the guy? You told me the story before. It's so funny. You had a fucking priest that told everyone he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Father Muckluck, dude. <laughs> Tell me this. Story. I've never talked Muckluck on here. I think you might have. I don't care. I want to hear it, bro. Because this is so father funny. Muck luck was he was an, it was an insane priest this dude yeah. was like he used to literally he was from the streets of philadelphia that's what he always say from the streets of philadelphia boys this guy was fucking <laughs> boys nuts. boys imagine yeah. talking to boys dude be like listen boys this, let me tell you something boys and dude he, we every day we would so he would like he gave a speech to every class and he'd be like don't think that i'm not aware of what's going on out here i'm from the streets of philadelphia boys <laughs> he would he would like move his arm and a pipe would slide out and he'd be like I got tricks up my sleeve and slide the pipe back in dude this guy was fucking nuts wow he was just some like old crazy like Spanish guy from Kensington or wherever he was from and he became an oblate of St. Francis de Sales dude dude he that's so sick his every, journey is awesome dude every day the streets dude every day before now he carries a pipe in his he sleeve. carries a fucking copper pipe just to brag to kids just to let kids know he's like, from the fucking, fucking beat the shit out of somebody basically he's like don't think he was like don't think i'm sweet because every class we started out with he loved the virgin mary this guy was like every class we'd say our prayer and he'd be like what color flowers are we going to offer up to the virgin mary Dude, we have Spanish class, and then one guy would be like, Negro. <laughs> <laughs> he stops. Everyone would be like, I just love it. Every time he'd be like, Azul, father. And he'd be like, Yes, good flowers. And so William McMillan would go, Negro. <laughs> he'd go, No, 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 boys. No, Negro boys. is the absence of color. 
Like, isn't white the absence of color? And he'd be like, he would just give you a look. If you stumped on anything, you'd go, what color are we going to offer, boy? <laughs> Dude, this guy was the fucking man. So then, like, you could give, you could give, um, you could also give, like, little... Like I mean, you, dude, you could offer up the finding flower. out finding out that black is negro in Spanish. Whew. Oh, I mean, dude. what a big day! Well, he was saying he was like satanic, like offering black flowers yeah. to Virgin Mary. Oh, I thought you were just trying to say. No, he wasn't just saying negro. He was he was trying to be like satanic. Was we oh. that was the thing? Like before you go into his classroom, you draw a pentagram on the chalkboard and sit down, and he <laughs> would come in and be like, "Boys, dude, he would freak the. It was <laughs> He's so of the devil. Fun. Yeah, it was, dude, he he witnessed exorcisms. He said he was there, dude. This guy would tell us the most fucked up shit, and then the uh, the one time, man, I, it's funny. I thought you, that kid was being racist. No, 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 no. He was just being. We were just being satanic. Well, I, I vividly, we were being ironically satanic. Vividly remember being in class when I found out, and you were just like, oh. I was like, damn, that's their word for it. Yeah, like looking dude. at my boys, like, Yo, you see, look at the colors. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> oh shit, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was a. Uh, what the fuck else did he? So my cousin had him before me. And he would uh he would go in after you do like the flower colors for the Virgin Mary you could pray for people in your family so me and him had a cold war where we like were saying like horrible shit about each other yeah yeah, yeah. I told you about this yeah that's hilarious told me I was in a fucking gang yeah. oh so your cousin was like pray for my cousin Matt he's in a gang well we were I was like uh, father I like to pray for my cousin he's smoking cigarettes after school <laughs> like, <laughs> we were the one guy. One dude raised his hand. He was like, uh, "Pray for my grandfather, father. He uh, he died in a chainsaw accident." <laughs> He'd be like, "Oh, oh, that's yes. We'll say some dude. It was so fucking fun. This guy was out of his mind." But then he tried to say he was on Sports Illustrated. Someone looked it up. And we're like, "Yeah, dude, we have that year here. You're not on it." And he was like, "I am too on it." And they're like, "Nah, you're not, dude." Why did he say he was on it? He was a ro- he was an Olympic rower. He told us he was a rower. So he was like basically a crew. He's like he was like boys. I was an Olympic rower. I went to college. I was in the Olympics. And they're like, what year were you in the Olympics? And he was like, blah blah blah. He's like, I was on the covers. But he's just lying. <laughs> he lied to a bunch of kids. He was seen. They used to put us with senile priests. And there was like gay priests and senile priests, and that was pretty much senile it. priests are the shit. They're dude, the best dudes. We had a guy who used to they're fall asleep. He used to guy used to fall asleep during class. He would be teaching, like sit down and just be like, <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking funny. That's such a bad model. We had a guy that was like just a stoner. You could tell, like he was just an old stoner. Stoner priest? No, this guy wasn't a priest. He was just True. an old hippie, and we would just fuck around every class. It was like it was like reading where you yeah. would take turns reading. And whenever it got to my popcorn, friend, and whenever it got to my friend, I sat behind him and I would just fuck with him the whole time and try to make him laugh the whole time. Oh, he was re- so like grab his, funny. tickle him and shit. And one time I was tickling him, and this the dude just spazzed. He just freaked the, teacher? the fuck out. Yeah, he had a wiffle ball bat that he always carried around. What? And he just started fucking wailing his desk as hard as he could. And he was like, would you take one thing fucking seriously? And it was like, holy shit. Yeah, he was Damn. cool his entire career. Then spazzed on Joey Weaver. Really? Yeah. Dude, we had a uh, we had a good amount of like autistic dudes who were teachers, too. This guy was, yeah. There was two guys. Who we were, were like, oh, he's a stoner. He's autistic. Or <laughs> he's a fucking hippie. I think he was just... Yeah, just dude. an old autist. They passed a lot of aut- We had two guys, two autists. They were both the uh, the typing teacher. They like were in charge of all the technology, which at like, like a Catholic school, like we had like a teach like a typing class. Yeah. And like information some bullshit. I forget what it was. Yeah, there's like brown keyboards like yeah, just dude. faded. But it was from- Mr. Horn and Mr. McGee, and they were both about like five three. There's these stout little dudes with like bowl cuts, dude. There was one guy was bald, the other guy had a bowl cut, and like I took the one so class. Sick. With Mr. Horn and dude, it would just be like the guy would be talking. Like every five minutes, someone would go, Horn! <laughs> <laughs> I learned like pretty much next to nothing. Horn, dude, yelling someone. Dude, yelling, someone with yelling. the funny last name. There was a fucking. There was a big. There was a big dog. This this girl. Yeah. And we would scream her last name. Oh my she was god. A, she was a fucking thick bull. She was, and she was, she was like huge. Yeah. Like she was big like baby. strong, dude. Damn. She looks like the fucking lady in Matilda. The headmaster. Yeah. And she was wearing like a Catholic school outfit. It's hot. So she was wearing like a long, it looked like a Celt. Because it, like, it was like past her knees. She was like 6'2". Damn. She was a beast. But her last night we'd be like, Gruber. <laughs> <laughs> One time she was like running for, she was running for president. She was running for class president. And Weaver. Oh, she was, wait, you went to a boy girl school? Yeah. I didn't have girls in my school. I went to all boys. She was running for president. I was a teacher. And Weaver was in the back. The same kid who got in trouble. <laughs> he yelled Gruber during the assembly. 
she was giving a speech. You just hear some kid in the back go, Gruber! <laughs> he got, like, suspended. <laughs> Dude, I've been jealous of people's fucking big, strong girlfriends. Really? I've been seeing dudes out here with, like, just fucking carrying around big thick stro- bitches. Yeah, big strong girlfriends. I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking jealous. True. I need to get my girl in the gym. I should dude. find a big strong lady. I know. Man. My ex was she was getting she got strong for That's a minute. I need I need my girl. I'll tell you what, jacked, it takes you out man. of it. What do you mean? Sexually. What? When they get big and strong? I had a, I had a jacked baby for a minute, and one time I was yeah I've talked about this. I was you gotta let them take control. Hitting it from behind, and I was like, this looks like I'm fucking Clay Matthews. <laughs> just really? a jacked fucking back with blonde hair hot dude just a thick fuck she had like the dude. what are these called uh traps <laughs> no oh lats yeah she had thick lats and traps <laughs> it, it was wild that's what i need uh, trust me you think i know i don't know that tell you tell you from I just, behind my i don't you know i don't want you don't want sculpted you just want a burly i mean, i don't i don't want to do even sex stuff with them i just want to like a little arm candy just something to show around like yo you see my girl yeah let's see how jack she is yep that's me, baby. I want a jacked babe to walk around with. Are you talking again, though? Are you talking like ripped, or are you just talking like thick? No, nah, I don't want her to. Rip. I just want her bulking up, like O line. Yeah, I want her bulked. I don't want her. I don't want her to get shredded. That's what I, I couldn't get down with China. You want like power? I knew people who fucked hard with like or like fucked with one night yeah, in China real chicks. hard. That's where I I can't fuck with that. Yeah, I need a fucking just a, a chick who's you know. Thick, thick. You want stout? I need that. I need the adipose tissue still on there. I don't want her. I don't want my chick to be more dried out than me for sure. Mm-mm. That would be. I'd get very insecure about that. Yeah. Like, could you fucking eat some fucking carbs? You're way more dried out than me, dude. Imagine if I came down. With I only a have thick a four bowl. pack right now. I need you to chill the fuck out, dude. Imagine if I came in with a thick, me and another thick mama. You need to, dude. We'd be. It'd be unstop. It'd be crazy. Apparently, a lot of athletes like mate select like this. They really? like they like breed like for real. They like they'll like check a chick out and be like, she's got decent quads, and like will like make sure a really? chick is like stout enough to produce something so like, that a strong can... sportsman. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to produce like a weak sportsman. I need a strong sportsman, <laughs> yeah, dude. So or, you gotta because if you don't have a strong sportsman, you could end up with a gunman. Exactly, you dude. Could end up with a little measly gunman. Exactly, especially now in this day and age. If your kid, if your, if your kid's, kid's not playing hit, Minecraft, your kid's not getting along with the ladies, dude. Yeah, he's probably gonna fucking. He's definitely gonna shoot. Something he becomes up. if he if your kid can't act sex if he can't get sex, he's an incel. If and therefore, yeah. very likely to fucking. If he can't get sex, check those fucking Google Maps searches. See if he's searching any mosques. Exactly, dude. Because he probably is. Direct link. Don't let him get an airsoft gun when he's young. Mm-mm. Just part. Did I tell knows? you, dude? My fucking, I shot at someone. I opened fire one time. Really? On a fucking civilian. Was walking, an airsoft? walking through the woods, me and my boy with an airsoft gun. I just fucking shot the dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fun. hit him? Huh? Did you hit him? I don't know, man. We ran. We fired and fucking ran for our lives. It was just some dude. We were like trying to shoot. Like there was like a, a Jaguar on the loose. And we were like, let's go find this thing and kill it. And we just saw a guy waxing his car. And we're like, there was a Jaguar on the loose? Apparently. Someone must have just like misinformed. Someone probably just told us there was like a. And mount, then you went out on the loose. with an airsoft. We went out for airsoft to take this thing down. A little Peter and the Wolf action. And we just saw a guy waxing his car. And we're like, yeah, let's shoot this guy. We just shot I him. Mean, like, you hear it, it was like, ping. He's like, God fucking damn it. And we fucking ran away. <laughs> oh, you heard him react? Yeah, you heard him fucking oh, yell. That's we just, awesome. We just took off. That's great. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Good. I mean, yeah, we were, I was a bad boy, dude. You were. I just wasn't. Threw a firework at a car one time while I was going. <sighs> ran away. We used to sit on the, uh, we used to play miniature golf and like, t- we'd keep our golf ball and just go out into the highway and just throw it. <laughs> to, to. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, we were fucking. We were bad boys. Yeah, you're a bunch of dickheads. Yeah, we were jerk offs, dude. I'd be so mad. Apparently, he qualified for conduct disorder. Any destruction, if you go and outwardly destru- destroy other property, technically you have a psychological disorder known as conduct disorder. No. True. We would fucking, yeah, we would destroy everything. Uh, man, man I'm, I'm, look, I didn't write I think that's what I boys write, do. I didn't write the DSM. I'm just saying, if you I'm have, like. boys will be boys, dude. You, you fuck. Go take smash, it back, dude. Smash some take it the fuck back. Boys will be boys. That's a Suck disorder. My dick, That's a psychological Gillette. disorder. Take it back. Dude. Remember, Gillette was like, yeah, "Boys dude. will be boys." Dude. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Boys dude. better be fucking girls, dude. Yeah, dude. Boys should be girls. Boys better be. They better either, start acting like girls. Either get pussy or trans, dude. No being boys. What you gonna do? What you pick one, dude? That's your options. Get pussy or you be either pussy. get pussy or trans, and then the guys who get pussy will fuck you. Exactly. That's sick. 
Dude, I mean, honestly, that's I've said this before. That's a very honorable thing to do. It, yeah. If you're a dude and there's just like none of your boys can get any ass, and you're like, I'll I'll, I'll do it. This, I'll be I'll become the fucking sniz, dude. I I'll be the sniz of our sniz. squad. That's a fucking dude. What if your boy transed and like the goal was to like he was gonna fuck the whole he's fuck gonna fuck the, whole, the squad. He's gonna suck the squad. He was gonna let the train. It's an honorable thing to do. But then he got hot. And fucking left you for the same guys that were fucking all the other hot checks. Damn, that would be a sick romantic com- rom com. Mm-hmm. It's just like two dogs, like five or six dogs are like out. They're like, How about just, what do you mean, two? Let's go two. Let's go you and me. That's that'd be. Let's tight. say our sniz dries up. Yeah, our fucking plentiful, bountiful sniz. I'm like, sniz dude, pond. I'll trans and I trans, and then like I'll become. Then it's I'll like I'll trans too. I come down the steps. It's like there she go, there they go, <laughs> yeah, there, there they, they go, go again. <laughs> You're like, oh my god! You're bringing me to the Matt, prom. You're stunning. We somehow I'm t- I'm <laughs> taking you to our next <laughs> live show. <laughs> <laughs> you take me to a high school prom. I'm like, why the fuck do we let these people? <laughs> <laughs> you and me, high school. I just finger you out there. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna finger my pussy, dude. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm still saving up for a pussy. I figure my ass for I now. Dare you to try to kick us out? If I bring a fucking trans to a fucking, if I bring they to a fucking prom, yeah, dude, dare they can you kick to you out. Kick us out, dude. They could not. They, I bet they wouldn't. They'd that be, would be, they'd be scared. So that would be the story: is that like I trans so we can get into the prom because technically some of them are eighteen. You're just, I'm just trying so, to sneak in there to get loose. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying well, to be released. The whole story. The, the whole story is this is this is the plot. So I trans for you, and then like we go to the prom as thirty year olds. And then all of a sudden, I meet the high, the high school quarterback dude, and I, he takes notice of me, and I start to fall for him. The original plan was we were I was going to trans so we could go in there and meet like hot eighteen year olds. See my like, DNA to protect him though. You guys want beer? If the high school, if the quarterback was fingering you, you I'd, think you, I'd stand outside the car. You think like, nothing you to see here, dude? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you thought, dude. But then you fell in love with me and became jealous, bitterly jealous. And then I shoot up the school. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good fucking yeah, it's a good rom com. I'm like no. And only I can talk you down. You became so possessed with fucking jealousy that I'm like, I can talk to, I can get through the beast and be like, I know the real Shane. I'm like, Shane, I transfer you. I mean, we were just in the middle of warfare. Someone else came that day to shoot up too. Oh, really? So we, yeah, dude, so it ends up being like, you came to shoot up the school and we end up having to battle it out with them. And then it just ends with like a gratuitous seven minute sex scene where you just I fuck you hard. And then the cops suicide. My cops, my dude. Yeah, I'm like, thanks for the nut. Butthole. Thanks for the nut, dude. And then and I the walk out. the cops come and shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> just Bonnie and they yeah dude that'd be awesome Bonnie and Clyde that's a ben. good fucking Bonnie and they that'd be a good rom-com they, I don't know why they don't have any trans rom-coms it's kind of bullshit true I'm sick of it they will and when it does come out it'll be fucking hilarious oh my god unintentionally Chuck and Larry part 2 would be tight Where that's kind of what we're yeah nah this dude, is our, different our plan instead of getting like health insurance is you trans so we can go into the prom so I can just get loose on the kids Basically, a fucking fox in you're the gonna, fucking you're, you're going to ID them. Just though. a wolf in the hand. No, you're going to be. You're going to be like, let me see your ID. You're 18. <laughs> be like, what are you doing here? Be like, I'm here with my trans girlfriend. Yeah, that's my me? fucking they over there. Why don't you? Uh, unfortunately, watch it? my girlfriend couldn't go to the prom and address back then because they went to a Catholic school. So I'm just please, please don't get on the wrong side please of the story. Do not be on the wrong side of history right now. Meanwhile, or as we like to call it, her story. Ex- yeah, her story, dude. Thank you. And then meanwhile, I'm sucking the quarterback, You're dude. Just blowing every kid in there. Oh my god, dude! I am the. I just. I'm just and going this is for this pre-op. So you, you're just a dude wearing a dress. No, I got tits. You got sick tits. I'm not going to the prom without tits, dude. Are you kidding me? Are they fake or real? Like, I mean, are they like, I mean, surgically enhanced or are for you sure? Just padding? They're augmented. Oh, I'm not pat, dude. Are you kidding me? I hate padding, dude. You're I hold. Stuffing. I hold a grudge against padding from like sixth grade. You're not stuffing your bra, not, dude. No one talk about stuffing to me. That's the ultimate fucking deceit. Stuff to bra. What the fuck, dude? I thought you had tits. These are just tissues. That's a sick move, dude. It's good, good for cleanup, though. I might you start. I might start stuffing. What? Carry some tissues in your tits. As soon as I not, it'll come in handy. That's not bad. Clean yourself off. Better. Don't ever deceive me again. Exactly. Just wipe them off. And you're like, wench. You tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have accepted this hand job if I'd known. Yeah, I think we got. No, I think good, we're on to a good plot. That's a good. We should write the movie, dude, and pitch that. This ending, dude, having, we definitely have, like, the whole time there'd be, like, a subplot of, like, the school shooter, like, kind of like a Michael Douglas character being, like, yeah. now, now's the time. And he'd be, like, aided and embedded almost by, like, you know, like, they're always, like, they have, like, the Russians where, like, all right, we're in. 
Oh, you, you we're going. There's like special ops behind this. Yeah, there's a subplot of like the school shooters are coming in to fucking light up the prom. Oh yeah, <laughs> and we just carry guns because we're patriots, so we save the day. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I will wear. Dude, I will have an AR-15 at the prom. <laughs> you, if you think I'm not coming with my trans boy. In a fucking AR, yeah, dude. You don't know 1776. Exactly. That's that's, what that that would be the about. story. So, that, and in the end, like you know, we're trans, just like we're super woke, and I'm trans. And then at the end, the school shooters come. They're all acting, and you know, you know, acting, and they're concerted by like you know, Hillary Clinton or whoever's like, yeah, the know, Clinton like, right, Foundation. Send them in, dude. We got to repeal guns. And then at the end, we're just fucking. Sorry, you guys just ran into a good guy with a gun Sorry. and a good day with a gun. I was like, anyone have bump stocks? And it's like, turns out I do. <laughs> I don't really know what they are, but I'm bumping them in. <laughs> Sit back. <laughs> yes. You can, play Mar- you can play Mariah Carey's Vision of Love over the whole thing, dude. Did you ever hear that song? No, sing it. Beautiful song. I no, can't. sing it. Don't play it. Sing it. I can't sing it. I can't fucking talk. Mariah about? Carey you have a great voice. Dude. Not like MC, dude. So you I actually, play this over... Yeah, dude. Would you be acting... How would you be handling yourself? Would you be like be damsel? Did you ever damsel? see salt? No. Did you ever see distress? salt? First, I would be for sure. And then you'd be like, "Get it together, babe." And I would just go instantly. And we would kiss. I would go instantly into salt. Yeah, we would kiss amongst the fucking gunfire. And I would go into salt mode, and I'd be like Max Payne, like slow jump, like. How many school shooters are there? Oh, there's a fucking ton of them. How many incels are there, dude? It's all the guys who didn't get dates come back to shoot up the prom because they're incels and they're mad. They want to shoot everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you tell me this wouldn't be the fucking soundtrack of all soundtrack while we're just getting gunned down by incels? Listen to this. Disco ball spinning, dude. We're... I love you, babe. Do you think I could get a nut during the fight? For sure. You think I would slide into you? Definitely. That would probably be the way to... That would be the way to... I'd be like, you'd be injured. I'd be like, get on my back, and you'd slide into me. I'd be like, oh, oh, God, oh. And we would just collapse and just get riddled with gunfire. <laughs> They'd build a statue of us, dude. That's the end. <laughs> That's the end. Yeah. Hell yeah. While disco ball spinning, dude, it'd be fantastic. We have to take out all the fucking incels. Anyone who didn't get a date is obviously coming to shoot up the problem. And the only reason we stopped it because we're carrying fucking guns, dude. Thank God. A couple good guys with guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a mind melter, dude. That would, yeah. That'd Just be the best couple, picture. I, uh, instant, dude. When people, <laughs> like, they'd be like, I don't know if this is what, is this pro? <laughs> is this on our side politically? What is this? <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd be so fucking sick. Just, no, to have it just, just marketed as like a, like a totally just kind of like, yeah, it's a nice story about it's like time we have the dialogue of like trans kids at the prom that ends up getting shot up by incels. <laughs> we happen to be carrying AR 15s. Sorry, like, incels. You just ran it, into a it'd be trans funny to couple. Trick everyone to come see it. At the, they're like, oh my God, look. And then all at the end, we're like, give me those fucking bump stocks. Like, I'm so happy I have these. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Like Matthew McConaughey from True Detective when he's just he's setting the scene. He's like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, that'd be awesome. I mean, that's a good, what, what do you call it? What would we even call that? Because there's so many different points of this that are like important. Like me, me fucking creaming you as we die. That's true, dude. I mean, what a fucking way to end. Dude, get I hope back. I go out creaming, getting riddled with incel bullets. Oh, for sure. I mean, that's, I mean I'm they're just, trying to kill what they hate. That's how it's just gonna go. fucking the Chad, dude. the ultimate Chad, dude. Yeah, dude, they're, they're going to come in. Out. They're going to be like, the, ch- the Chads, the Chads are in there. Lock it down. They're like they're gonna grapple down through the fucking. They're gonna smash the glass of the gymnasium <laughs> skylight and grapple down. No one's getting pussy. I'm 17. I haven't gotten shit yet. Yeah, that is that is a great. It's so funny that incels. Like, incels I, I are should ter- be getting pussy to <laughs> kill everyone. <laughs> incels are terrorists now. I mean, that kind of. There is a grain of truth to that. What? I mean, I just yeah, they have an agenda. I mean, there is definitely like if, if I mean if someone wants to do the science and be like, Our intel how attacks. much pussy were school shooters getting? Because if you're getting pussy, you're not like, all right, well, I'm gonna shoot up the pussy factory. Yeah, I'm you're not gonna throw this like, away. Yeah, you're just kind of like, all right, let me just fucking let me chill. So that is that is an unfair thing to make against people. It's funny to be like, oh, you mad about not getting ass? Well, guess what? You're a fucking terrorist too. Be like, <laughs> fuck, god damn it. Oh, you like the internet? 
Turns out you don't have you're a fucking racist yeah. and a terrorist. It's like, <laughs> shit. God damn it. I wonder what the stamp is in terms of like how long. I don't know. It's kind of a catch-22. So it's kind of like, what's the matter? Can't get pussy? You're a fucking terrorist. It's like, I'm going to go talk to girls. What are you fucking chauvinistic, you piece of shit? Leave us alone. It's like, damn. well, you know what? You've put me in a position now where I'm just going to shoot a bunch of people. Yeah, you think that's something you should say? No, I don't you think, think so. You think you should come up and kind of basically support incel school shooters? I mean, are they all incels? Who's keeping the if stats? Who's keeping the school, st- who's keeping the pussy getting, stats? You're not getting pussy. We have a So we're going to we're going to establish that. All right. That's fact. Ah, they could be getting some like hot topic nerd BJs. A lot of those hot topic goth chicks, dude. If you can crack the inner circle of that, you hope, bro. Uh, yeah, it's we'll like the fucking the squad, like the band geeks. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, because you didn't have a co-ed school. Yeah, we had the, dude. dude, the band kids. We, no, we had band, and those guys were getting pussy. We would hear band about it because they would co-ed the band. Dude, those doors. They were getting, like, gross. They were yeah. getting, like, I'm saying, like, the stuff they were doing. I remember being like, yo, bro. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone in the band did anal. Yeah. Like, that was just all. That was, like, net, what else? I told you about that girl that got butt-fucked in our weight room. And then started the dance club, and we fucking ruined it. <laughs> Wait, why? <dude? laughs> yeah, it's a great story. That. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, she, she, she was she was she, she got butt fucked by a couple chads. She got butt fucked by one chad, really? an elite chad that was willing to butt fuck this girl in the weight room. In the weight room. Damn, what's that guy doing now? Without disclosing his personal, I don't know. Balling, obviously, crushing. undoubtedly crushing. How do you like? How do you prepare yourself for anal sex? I feel like I would have to like. Like, if I wanted to have anal sex, I'd have to definitely, like, hit the drugstore beforehand. You gotta get, what? like, supplies. You can't just be in a weight room. You can't fuck someone in the ass all willy-nilly. I mean, I guess you can. It yeah. happens. It happens. It must have been a spit lube. That's, ugh. Or she just had a fucking wet butt. I guess someone could butt fuck me right now. Yeah, you got that sloppy butt right now. My butt's fucking... Maybe her butt was leaking, and she was like, I'm primed up. This thing, the pump is lubed, dude. Get in here. <gasps> that was the lamp when you jump on my back and you slide in. You're like, ew. You look at yourself and I'm like, come here and pull you in. And you're like, oh. That's gross. <laughs> That's gross. That's disgusting, dude. Would you transfer the squad, though, for real? Yeah, for sure. Would to you? save, I would save the fucking school. That should be it. That, How so? You just, it's just, oh, you, you could be like, you know what you could be? Just trans and then at the last minute. You could you're be like, like a school wait. security guard. Yeah. And you notice there's too many fucking, it's like Night of the Living Dead. You just, <laughs> the whole school's on lockdown. Everyone's flashing steel. Incels everywhere. <laughs> and you're like, I got to fucking do this, dude. You trans? And then you trans and fuck them. And then you get in trouble and lose your job. And it's like, that would be the crux of it. It'd be like dangerous minds where instead of like teaching them, you would just trans and suck all the kids. You'd be like, chill out. It's not that bad. Hell yeah. That's a good, that'd be a good one too. A trans teacher sucks all the incels. Or just teacher. Somebody's got to save these kids. Yeah, we're just male teacher. Just wait till they're 18. Did you ever yeah. watch the show Carrie? No. On, uh, it's, it's like the, it's a pre, or what is it? It's like the prequel to Sex in the City. They went back. If you're a true Sex in the City fan, it's highly problematic because they act as if Carrie had a dad when in fact she didn't. Carrie was raised by her mom, but in the show Carrie, she's what? raised by her dad and her mom's dad. No wonder she's a slut. Yeah, man. Dude, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Carrie was raised by... No wonder she's like, I'm just going to move to a city and get fucked by a bunch of dudes and then blog. Well, if you watch the if you watch the prelude, and everyone again, was like, "That's awesome!" That's so you That's go, girl, cool. dude. I'm watching. I was watching it with my with my girlfriend, and it was like, again, highly problematic. If you're so all the hardcore Sex in the City fans out there, I apologize because yeah, it's not. It doesn't like, which is hilarious. They didn't line it up to the actual plot of like technically like the legend of Carrie Bradshaw, but she uh in the, in the show she's like this little girl in the '80s and. It shows how like she falls in love with shoes, falls in love with the city, dude. It's so fucking dumb. Ugh. Just like, and then there was shoes, and then she walks out. And it's like a thirty-minute segment of a girl walking with like a pair of green shoes on. I'm just like, this is sad. It is. It's sad. just sad that this like garners. There's a million people right now being like, yeah, I love shoes too. <laughs> <Like> fucking <laughs> idiots. Yeah, that's. I'm just. You still stuck on stupid? I'm just stuck on uh, everything we just said. What? What you worried about? Well, I told you, you know. Dude, you you came up with a progressive plot that actually I'm back in the back in the game. What? Oh, <laughs> old Shaney boy. Oh, new people listening to this. Old Shaney boy. Yeah, bro. Oh, nobody knows. Mm-mm. 
Except the Patreon bulls. Oh yeah, Patreon bulls now. Yeah, you're a, you're a very private person. I'm very private. Yeah. I was also thinking that last night because we recorded that episode not thinking about putting it on Patreon. True. And then I was laying was laying out here and I was like, I'm what am I doing? Just putting just we're pretty fucking public. Yeah. I think I think we might regret this in a few years. Be an open book for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like older. Some devastate me. <laughs> I, I'm aware of this. Your kids hear this. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> yeah, that'll be tough to be like, I, I uh, don't do this, and they're like, dude. But especially because it's not like because I remember like Eminem yeah. has a daughter, and he's like, you're not allowed to listen to my music, and it's like she's gonna listen to it for sure eventually. And every song's like, I fucking cut my wife's head off that fucking cunt. That bitch. <laughs> you know, what, you know what was funny? I was thinking about that, but he other. did it for millions of dollars. Exactly. Like we did it as like a hobby. We were like, hey, everybody, here's all my fucking problems. Here's dumb things I think. Yeah, but I'm telling you, I th- I think we're moving again. It is going to be a process, but I, we're going to move into the age of the internet where there's just so much fucking shit on everyone. Where everyone's doxxed. Everyone's shit's going to be out there. And yeah. also, dude, my thing is like, here you go, fucking go back to the archives, dude. Watch a butterfly bloom. Yeah. Watch S- a butterfly blossom. Watch this fucking fat caterpillar turn into a fucking monarch, <laughs> an absolute king butterfly. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I I think it should be. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, I, I'm against the, the whole game of trying to hide and, you know, keep appearances up. I don't like that, man. It's like, let me hear what's on your fucking mind. I think mind. as a parent, there's, though. No one, dude. I'm just talking as strictly as a parent. Oh, as a parent, it'll be a tough you one. You have to hide who you really are. It'll also be tough to watch your kid to try to emulate it. Be like, I'm going to start a podcast. And you're like, dude, 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 No, you're not funny. Chances are you're not funny. You fucking suck, dude. Don't Chances are this podcast sucks. I know. Well, I'll see other like shock podcasts, which I'm not saying ours is, but I'll see like ones that yeah, are specifically other edge edge lords, and I'll see them just kind of, they're just way too far over the edge, and I'm watching them. It's like, I don't want to be associated with that. Mm. But I am what I am. These are my honest thoughts. I can't fucking not, I can't give you anything. I can't dilute myself, dude. I know. I could try. I could try I to add water to dilute myself. That's, oh, you kind of said it right. What? Water. I'm on the air, dude. Water. I'm like a regionally... I know. When I go on the air, I'm like non-regional you, specific dialogue. I'm like a weatherman. It's 80 degrees and sunny out here. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hear your weatherman. Partly cloudy. Did you ever see when the weatherman shows you what to wear? No. Totally misogynistic. Really? Yeah, they're like, make sure your kid bundles up. It's going to be cold out here. And they have like yeah. a kid with like a real, like an unrevealing jacket on. I'm like, like, make sure your kid's wearing something fucking sexy. My kid's going to show their fucking ass. Like, it's 85 school, degrees. Dude. Make sure your daughter's out there dressed like a fucking hua. <laughs> dude, I saw a little girl with uh, spandex. Her and her mom came in. The girl was like... Nightmares. This girl was like five with like tight spandex on. I'm like, yo, fucking take it easy. It's crazy. There's some fucking sickos out here. How about you take dude, it fucking I, easy? Bro. Yo, like, like tight, tight spandex. Bro. I was like, come on, man. Bro, you'd be in fucking... You'd be you'd be in trouble in Queens. Why they do that? There's a couple of fucking there's some there's some barrios where I live. A couple of fucking young lasses. They dude these kids out I'll, of control. I'll be following. A, there'll be like people in front of me. These kids like leaving high school. Hot as fuck. A couple out of control teens. A couple of hot fucking teens. Then you catch up to them at like a red light, and you're like, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, you you see that you don't know the age. Yeah, you can't tell because they all dress. Dude, they're this, all this hot. girl, I'm talking. This girl was like fucking seven. Yeah, you're talking a young. This is it's just kind of like because I like walk by. Her mom had a nice ass. I like it's spandex. So I'm you know I'm looking. I go oh, it was nice ass, and then I I catch it. I'm like, oh you got some a l- tiny button spandex. I'm like yo, will you fucking yeah, how ew. about you like put her in something else, man. Everyone's staring at your ass. She had like a, a nice ass. Mom had a nice ass. I'm a nice ass. She has some spandex on, and I'm I'm just I'm like, dude, I'm getting on the escalator, and I, I first thing I see, I go, oh, a nice ass and spandex, and I look over, I go, come on, man, come on, bro, come put a cardboard box around that fucking kid. Yeah. Don't be walking. Don't be having your kid. Don't walk, especially if you're gonna have your ass out. Don't have your kid like <laughs> trying to have her ass out. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Yeah, what is that supposed to be? Yeah, put some dungarees on that girl. Get dude. some put thick some Levi's on, on her, that dude. kid. Be throwing your kid out here in spandex like that, especially next. I don't know, man. I was just kind of like get a nice Amish Amish dress, something. some sort of floral, some heavy garb. Yeah, and people are like, well, what's just because it's like, dude, I'm I'm not trying to be a fucking weirdo about it, but I, I was just kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> Put your kid in fucking spandex. Yeah, unnecessary, yeah. unfucking necessary. Girls should dress in long dresses, just until, not body suits, dude. They're thirty eight. Just don't put your girl in a your seven year old in a fucking bodysuit, dude. You weirdo. Why are you trying to fuck that seven year old? No, 
It was just like so I'm, what's I'm, the problem? She was the mom was in spandex, fat old ass dude, just coming up the escalator, and it was just like, I'm in like perv mode. Obviously, yeah. It's, it's like I can't even help it because this is my fucking evolutionary, my you know the way my eyes work. I'm looking yeah, for the you see some cheeks, looking for the curves. You're to trying see, to I'm trying them. to see how fertile she is because you can tell by the shape of woman. It's 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 in the science. So I'm checking. I go, there's a fertile myrtle right there, and all of a sudden I go, my eyes just go yeah, scan. And and also, go, ah, come on. Also for oh no, <laughs> no, dude, it was like a fucking so young that I was like, what the fuck? Put her in a fucking cart, dude. Do something. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> It's, it's a dude. No Hell one wants yeah. to talk about it, but it's like, how about you don't? Put Everybody's your kid, talking about. How about you don't put your kid stop in fucking dressing kids. Spandex, yeah, dude. stop making your kids hot. Dude, it was like exactly. It was just kind of like yeah. When you know when the mom and again you know maybe maybe I'm wrong, but it's like you have, you know the moms go out you know they you dress your daughter up in like a matching dress. I'm like oh, that's awesome, but there was like there was like a matched outfit of like spandex. Where I was like, what the fuck? You know, what's a weird thing my hometown does. This uh, is a website called Pen Live. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you guys, it's here too. I mean, I, I don't think know it's, what it is. It's just local news. Okay. It's like a website. And every year hottest, and actually they had hottest kid of the year? Basically. They what? they do it in the in the fucking local paper too. They the prom pictures. Yo. They always post like every high school's prom pictures. And like there's a slideshow on Penn Live of like prom pictures. That's super fucking weird. Of like, look at these beautiful There's definitely girls. guys jerking off to that. Fuck. That's fucking weird, dude. Yeah, it's just it's like, yeah, they're hot. These are hot high schoolers for sure. Look at them going to their prom. Look, oh, look at this one, my favorite. Remember this? Who the fuck's looking at Remember that? Remember this fun? Look at this beautiful dress. It's just some chick with fucking sick tits out. Is this like a a, a butt ton of makeup on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they like dip their face in that shit before they go to prom. Dude, well, I was actually thinking about Eminem the other day, and I was like, <laughs> dude, imagine being gay in the Eminem time when like Eminem was at his peak. It was just like when an international was like, Man, superstar. This guy's the best, and every song was like "faggot." <laughs> I'll fucking cut your head off for being gay. <laughs> his whole like, his whole appeal was Ken him Kniff. being like, "Yeah, Ken Kniff, and like yeah. insane clown posse, suck each other's dicks, and sings fucking gay." And everyone's like, yeah. "Yeah." That guy came at a time when like boy bands were thriving, and he was like, "They're fucking gay." I'm the whole, riding the same way. The dude. whole world was just like, ah. <laughs> "I'm riding, dude." That's my comedy career. I'm showing up when comedy's gay, just going on every podcast and be like, yo, that's fucking gay, dude. So you'll probably end up with a mansion in Detroit, dude. That's the end goal. Perfect. Eminem still sleeps on his couch despite having a king-size bed, dude. He's, I know. He keeps it gully. But imagine being gay back then. You're just like, I'm going to tell my dad today. You turn on the radio. I was like, faggot, fa- faggot, <laughs> faggot. And you're like, fuck, I'm going to wait. I'm going to fucking wait. I'm, I'm going to wait this out till Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to hold off. Lady Gaga basically dethroned Eminem. Definitely. That would be tight if, yeah, I'm just trying to say, if like Eminem just became a Lady Gaga. That'd be a sick fucking move. Eminem did go woke. He tried. He made a fucking diss track against our against Trump daddy, dude. Yeah, but it's like, he I don't failed. know, people kind of let him kind of, they're like, eh. He, he came through during like, that's how fast everything's changed, it's been changing, dude. It was like early 2000s, he went on stage and was like, fag it, fag it, fag it, and everyone's like, ah. Yeah. And now they're like. Well, he had to apologize. That that was like the beginning of it when Elton John was like, "Hey," they were like, "All right, go fucking Him hug and Elton sang a song go together. hug Elton John and all is forgiven." Yeah. yeah, that was definitely his record label put that together from Interscope. Who was that guy's name? Paul something. Yeah, he was just like, "Yeah, dude, go fucking hug Elton John. All is forgiven. Get out there and sell some more records." M. M was like, "Yo, bro, that's a weird being a white rapper is a weird endeavor. I can't fully get behind it." Um. I finished Ghost of the Oz Front <gasps> for like the third time. Really? It's, it's what, just, what is it's the book about? World it's, uh, War, no, no, you listen to the, the it's uh, a Carlin podcast about gotcha. the Eastern Front. You need to fucking listen to it. it I, I, I got to get into it. It is insane. How bad they were? How bad both sides were, and just like like I was telling you, you were busy. But there's one story where there's this you had to follow every if you were a Soviet commander, yeah. you had to follow every order. To a T. Like, yeah. you couldn't fuck it up at all. So, like... What happens if you did, they would shoot you? They'd kill you. Jesus Christ. It's like, no matter what the order was, you had to do it. So, this one's like, move your line... Move the line up five kilometers. And on a map, there's no river. Yeah. But now, there's a river in front of you. And oh. he's like, all my guys are Mongolians. None of them... They're all from the steppes. They've never even seen water. Damn. And he's like, if I... If we try to cross, they're all going to drown. But that's the order. So then he would just send them all. They would all drown. 
he'd get to the other side and be like, eh, about fucking seven dudes survived. And, and they'd be like, what the fuck happened? He'd be like, right. well, they drowned in the river. And they'd be like, all right. They're like, okay. Fair enough. Thanks. Good work. Hang it up. Like, it, it was insane, dude. Everything was... That's fucking crazy. But then, especially, like, the stories about, like, Berlin at the end, when, like, yeah. the Soviets are coming, it's like, holy fuck, dude. When they came, they stormed... I didn't know they stormed Berlin. Yeah. That's where Almost we met them. Terrifying. The, West, the Ruskies came. Americans and the Russians met in Berlin. And just... And everybody in Berlin was trying to get to the American side. They're like, please let us surrender to you guys, because those guys are the Ruskies. raping everybody. Damn. They were, and it was... Like, they were raping chicks to death. Dude, it's fucking crazy. I mean, there are a bunch of Ruskies in the wild, dude. There are Ruskies that... And this had all just happened to them. So the, Germans oh, been, the, Germans the Germans have been doing it for years. Going through Russia on a little... They are raping? They were fucking... Every atrocity imaginable. What? So then... When What's the, their beef with the fucking Ruskies? Well, the Russians... I mean, it was all racial. They were like, yeah. these people aren't Aryan. Yeah. They're the hordes from Asia. Let's they're rape like, them. Like, they're not human. So any war crime you commit is not a crime. Against a Ruski. Yeah. She. So every, everything was legal. Like, you could just... It was nuts. You could do whatever. So the Ruskies were just like, oh, yeah? So they they're came like, back. You think you guys can rape? What do you see what we do, dude? <laughs> it was... And then all these countries that were in the middle, like yeah. Poland and fucking... Were they catching R's on the way there? They were get, catching R's on the way there and back. Damn, they got dude. got the old double R, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, and then the idea at the end of it is like an entire population with PTSD. For sure. Like the whole population has it that survived World War II. It's just, just, like it must have just been wild. Oh, post after that? You can't even I imagine, mean, dude. No. You can't even fathom it. Like the... That's keeping a stiff upper lip. When the Ruskies come back, come and go. It's like, especially them coming through and being like, Rape the whole town, and you're just like motherfucker. And then you see him coming back, and you're like, oh, oh dude, it was like there's there's a story of them going into like uh like a a covenant a, yeah. co a convent no yeah convent, convent yeah of like nuns yeah just and they were like they were getting old and young Ooh. like it wasn't like it wasn't like it was sexual it was like they were doing this to them on purpose Jesus like, it was Christ, fucking crazy dude. bro. That's one of the hardest things. That's a hard podcast to listen to. That's a tough one. It's fucking nuts. They stormed the convent. I saw, I mean, bad timing. I saw a hot nun not too long ago. <laughs> I'm just, I'd never seen a hot nun before. I saw one the other day when I went to Palm Sunday. That's awesome. Saw a hot young nun and I was like, oh my God. Dude, like, I've only seen old, like, just super old ladies. I saw like a, probably like a 26 year old. Spanish looking chick. Right? Spanish. There was a nun, and I was just like, oh my god. Adios mio. Dude. I was on. I was like, because I'd always be like, I'd hear about like, you know, priests and like nuns and having sex. I'm like, dude, I've never fucking done. They're old as hell. I saw a young one. I was like, oh boy. Mm. I was like, I mm, couldn't mm, be in order mm. with that. I'd be, whoo, baby. Be step one. Dude, if I was in the convent, oh man. I mean, I used to go and bring them cranberry juice when I was a little kid, but they were just the old fucking toes. They were all washed periods. up. Yeah. <laughs> they were the old toes. Yeah, this is for your periods, uh, <laughs> Mother Superior. We used to bring them. Dude, I used to have to go there and bring them fucking cranberry juice and sit there and they'd be like, yeah, man, man. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> this sucks. Smells in there. Ugh. It smells like old ladies. Ugh. Disgusting. Yeah, dude, I didn't know. I didn't speaking know. of old ladies, oh, I showed you that. That picture of my fucking grandma? Yeah, dude. How's she doing? Uh, I don't know. Still uh, hanging on. <laughs> I don't think. Still hanging think on. She's getting. I think she's. I think R.I.P. Dude. Slipping away. I think. I think my nana is on her fucking last leg. Can you? Can you prematurely pull the plug on someone? It's like yo. On, like even if you're not on a, bren a ventilator, if they're on like the, like the heart monitor or something. Like, sick. Just be like, pull it out. Don't feed her. Yeah, pull, <laughs> <laughs> pull the pull all the plugs. Yeah, out. that's. Uh, I don't know. That'll be a weird one. What, when she dies? Yeah. Because, I don't know. I don't you, know. It's like my, because she's old. And like my whole family is just like, it sucks because she's old enough that she's like borderline a burden. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. And she wasn't like the nicest lady her whole life. She's been she's been a meanie. She was a bit of a mean nan. She really? Was, I, again, she was just funny. Yeah. She was funny. She was a dickhead. She was funny. She's a mean old nan. But she was a dickhead. Is she from America? Yeah. Gotcha. Mm. She might have been born over there. Really, a lot of yeah. a lot of those older women got soured by the Great Depression. Yeah, I remember my uh, 
my cousin had a nan who was not too nice, dude. Really? She's pretty nice. I think she was like part German. She was a mean old nan, dude. Yeah, you could run into some mean. If she was German, dude. Yeah, she was a. She, yeah, that could be it. She, she might have been a survived. fucking Nazi, dude. She could have survived the Holy Ruskies. Holy fuck! I never she thought might have about got that. Fucking plugged by a bunch of Ruskies. I never thought about that. She Definitely. wasn't from Germany. She was from America. I think she was from America. Oh well, still some. She knew some of her someone. boys. That, yeah, her pals yeah. got. She was definitely friends with Nazis. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. I never thought about that. She was a mean dude. Dude, I told you I was at my fucking my friend's grandpa's so funeral. Sick. I'm gonna. I can't wait to talk about him. His fucking nana being a Nazi. My friend's grandma or my friend's That's what grandpa nana stands for. Yeah. <laughs> but your friend's grandma what? My friend's grandpa was from Austria, and we were at his funeral, and they had like a slideshow on the wall, and one of them was him in military uniform, Stop, and I was like, dude. what? I was like, this guy's a fucking Nazi. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, was in all, he was in the Austrian military. What the fuck? It just meant he was a Nazi. So he had to fucking... He had to I, was, I fucking sat down and said a prayer. I knelt by this Nazi's fucking... And you, you take it back. You should like take backs, dude. I've been like, dude, I don't know what you did. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Good luck up there. You're going to have to talk to old St. Pete about what you did. No, dude. They had, Why did they put that in the slideshow? I mean, they had to celebrate his life. Yeah, I mean, it's like he... They're fucking. They could have blurred them out. They were like Austrian. They were like proud of their heritage. Proud, proud Nazis. Proud fucking Nazis, dude. <laughs> well, gotta, you didn't have a choice to serve. I know exactly. Yeah, I mean that's that sucks. I mean and there were suck. some fucking balling fucking Nazis. Really? Yeah, there were some sick ass fucking. Nazis. What were they doing? I don't know. There's you know there's tales of like humanity from their side. Like what? I don't know. Turn turn it down the oven. But yeah, turn it down a little bit. Yeah, turn down that heat. No, <laughs> it's turn just, it. Uh, just like saving people, like the yeah, I'm, I'm sure. You know, yeah, of I'm course, sure, it yeah. was a giant war of the entire country. Yeah, you're so saying there's, there's definitely... good people on both sides. I'm saying there's <laughs> a lot of bad people on both sides. Well, they were fighting the fucking Soviets. That's true. I'm talking that. They're monsters, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of good. Yeah, I know just monsters saying. fighting monsters. Yeah, you could just be a normal dude, and your government sucks. That's true. And they're just like, well, you're a Nazi now. Join up or die. Like, Do you want to join up or we're going to shoot your whole family? Yeah, that's true. It's like, yeah, I guess. Chuck on the uniform. Yeah. Hit the, hit the, get the goose stepping, dude. Get the fucking stepping. Yeah, that's, dude. I mean, that's the, uh, that's the ultimate choice. Well, that's, that's something your boy JP talks about a lot. And every historian is like, it's easy to fucking sit here now oh and be God. like, look at these pieces of shit. I would have, I would have done something. Yeah, you wouldn't have done shit. Yeah, saying the person you would have fucking joined right it's up. It's funny the people I know who go along with like every single cultural thing going on right now are like, oh my God, I would. It's like you would have been a fucking. You would have been, dude. If you had, if you had the fucking balls to try to like assassinate someone or like, oh my God, yeah, exactly, dude. They, there's, like, I would have probably done it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I probably would. I would definitely have the insurrection. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm just saying. There's almost no chance Hitler could rise in my country. I'm just allergic to groupthink. That's just I would me. kill him right away. Uh, if it were me, psh, forget it, dude. Yeah. I'm allergic to groupthink. Although early on, I'd be cheering for him. You think so? Yeah, because he was a fucking maniac. I'd be like, this guy's hilarious. Well, we also came at yeah. He did come in a time. <laughs> you know, he came in a time while they were uh, yeah. having a tough time, and he was like, "Don't shoot, mama." <laughs> he trumped out. He trumped out, dude. He's like, "It's going to be a magnificent." <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, but yeah, there's, there's stories that are just like, there's, there's one that's sick. It's like, this is in Berlin, like right before the Soviets are coming and mm -hmm. everybody, the story is like everybody on this trolley was like panicking and like talking shit. Yeah. And this dude in the back is wearing like full fucking Nazi regalia, like fucking, he was an officer that like blew up a bunch of tanks. Like you could tell by his, he had, he had tons, tons on, of swaths on and he stood up and was like, listen, shut the fuck up. He's like, if they do half of what we did to them, we are fucked. So you better fight to the fucking death today. And oh, when like, they came in? Yeah. This dude they, had like the most swallow. Did yeah. they do that like a football team? Like the more tanks you explode, yeah, they hit you another st a swallow yeah, in your hit a bunch of Buckeyes. <laughs> and yeah, because at the end they were using like boys and old men to right. fight these Just, fucking Soviets. They're like, we got to use everything we got. There's so many Ruskies though. There's a lot of Ruskies and those boys were eager to get in there damn because the and and also the soviets were using like they were using everybody so this is convicts this is fucking they freed everybody like, everyone yeah, was just like you're going to the front up. dude go nuts yeah these are the worst people in the world Shit. yeah but it's also it's people that committed the worst atrocities fighting each other yeah so then when atrocities happen to them it's like 
You're you saying? still, you still like, there's still sympathy because it's so horrible for either side. Like whoever's yeah. getting victimized, it's like Jesus Christ. Oh, for, who's getting like, like, even stormed if it's the and Nazis? Raped? Yeah, yeah who's getting stormed and raped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, even if you just sat tough, back, that's a tough ticket to pull from the deli counter. But it, it is like a because the, all these people in Berlin were like, hell yeah, we're fucking these countries up. We're the best. It's yeah. like you, you guys were just storming and raping everybody. Yeah, dude. So then when it comes back to you. Well, there, did you ever read that? Uh, I think I showed you that article I read one time from Everyday Feminism where they're trying to say that like Latinx countries, their like rape culture stems directly from colonial Europeans. And it was just like, I remember reading that and being like, well, from the people who used to like gut virgins and sacrifice them on the altars, just like had no fucking clue about rape. And they saw like white dudes come. And they're like, Whoa, wait, oh, yeah, of course. What, what, what you got, what you got going on over there? Yeah, that was the course. funniest fucking thing I've ever read. And it was like, yeah, and that's where it happened. And that's where they learned. About there are, it there are stories though of like, especially in Africa, mm -hmm. like, uh, I think Liberia. Yeah. Liberia. I don't know if you know about Liberia, but mm -hmm. it's, like an American colony. Yeah, I've heard of like, that. It's like their, their flag is like basically the American flag. Mm -hmm. The capital is Monrovia after President Monroe. Which, which flag is it? Is it just like the Blue Lives Matter flag? Yeah, basically. <laughs> is it really? Except that I think they have one star instead of 50. Gotcha, gotcha. Same exact American flag, yeah. one star. Uh, but th apparently they kind of adopted slavery from us. Oh, like they A were bunch like... of freed slaves were sent to Liberia. Yeah. And they just immediately were like... We should be the guys that did the other thing. No, yeah, they and got then everyone they started, in. Yeah, they're like, I got an idea. Like everybody, come here. We're gonna we're build you in. a nice house, <laughs> and you just work for free. <laughs> That's hilarious. And we're gonna hit you. Well, they had the business model. We're gonna knock your yeah, exactly. That's oh, what I'm that saying. Must have, they must have been motherfuckers, dude. Yeah. It's one of those things where an atrocity happened they to you. They must have came back and like, we're back. <laughs> hey, what's up? You guys, are, you guys aren't going to believe what we just learned. <laughs> like, what'd you guys do? What'd, what'd you guys do over there? And like, ah, you, check it out. Why don't you come here? Come here. <laughs> Put some handcuffs on you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, bro. We're we're at an hour right now. All right, bro. I mean, we, we can keep plugging, though. What's up, You got anything? You, 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 you gassed? I, that that, that uh, Ghost of the Oz front wasn't really a hot topic for that was, us. That was a super hot topic dude it's just it just fucks me up dude it's like and then it, just normal people have no idea do you think they add that to clash of clans what like a rape function <laughs> yeah the end. that was pretty what horrible. was what was wild about the the story about that convent is like mm -hmm. the russian soldiers that were up front were like pretty elite soldiers mm -hmm. so they would come in and be like we're not we're gonna take care of you but you gotta get the fuck out of here like the guys coming behind us are wild savages yeah like you need to go west quick and so people people couldn't yeah exactly you got a bunch and of this nuns. is this is what was considered uh, he was like the largest um like mass retreat in human history it was millions of people trying to go west so every road was just packed with it was all women and children because the men are dead oh. so it's just miles of women drivers <laughs> trying oh, to get out of the city god dude just walking and all that but it was enough that they were lit up at night so the bombers could see them and the soviets would just blow up women and children oh like dude they were Payback. rightfully so they were fucking furious yeah, and they were coming in just to kill everyone it's Jesus wild bro Christ. i mean it's I, that's all it takes is one person coming in and like fucking up your village and it's like all right well this fucking on tag i'm it dude let's go dude there's all these uh stories of i'm sorry i'm doing this it's I'm just sure. i'm excited about it because it's fucking wild tight. shit there's these stories about like about like partisans is what they're called so like when you invade a country if you're occupying a country basically the people resisting yeah and like the germans came into this town and they were like get us this fucking gold or we're gonna kill everyone they're like the yeah, Anunnaki, and they're like we're gonna check in on you later yeah so everybody in the village so then these soldiers left and like four Nazis were left there. Everyone in the village murdered those Nazis, burned it down the village and left except for one building that all the Nazis were in. And, uh, they left a box that just said gold on it. And when they opened it, it was everyone's heads. Oh, and it was like, dude, they, they how did the Nazis not know? Oh, the, oh, the building they the kept no, open the Nazis like the, had been in. Yeah. Like their headquarters oh, that's so in fun. the town. That'd be so fun to burn your town down, chop off your captain's <laughs> heads. Like seriously, that would be fucking tight. But then there's stories of like, like in Sarajevo, they, uh, they assassinated the German, the guy who was the bull. The, the yeah, governor. I that. Yeah, they execute or they they assassinate him, and then the way the Nazis responded was they hung like a thousand people. They just hung a thousand civilians. 
Jesus from like the light Christ. posts in the cities. What what was the, like the direct economic interest they were fighting over back then? So I know now like it's oil and all that stuff. Back then um, were they just like fuck, I forget what it, the word for it in German is, but he was Volkswagen in mind yeah, it's Volkswagen. <laughs> it's uh something like Freeland. Yeah. Like Leben space, like living space. Mm-hmm. And Oh, they, they wanted to eat it. Russia was big as fuck. They were like Well, no, this was Germany. They were trying to they were trying to take over the world. Yeah. They were like, the, the Aryan people need living space. Yeah, we need to breathe. Everybody over here is our slave. Everybody mm-hmm. on the West, they're going to join us. Like, it was... Oh, I got you. So, they're just basically like... They were just trying to invade everything. And eventually, this was right in World War II is when oil became massive. Mm-hmm. So, the Germans were trying to work their way down to the Middle East to get all the oil. Wow. So, that was the plan. It was like, everyone... Head is... down through, like, Greece, get into, like, Turkey. That's yeah. why they were also in North, North Africa. Uh, they're all trying to work their way to the middle so they're just gonna invade everyone be like white people are the best hit the fucking africa take all the oil in the middle east and then just be the fucking oligarchs of the world yeah and yeah. the ruskies were like nah the ruskies were like nah dude. but then towards the, the end ruskies it was... were like we're fucking white too <laughs> stop, calling us stop fucking... saying we're not white. stop saying we're fucking asian dude <laughs> we're gonna rape a bunch of people to prove it <laughs> we're fucking white dude we're not fucking asian uh and then yeah and the, but then the germans at the end tried to flip it tried to like make history like we were trying to protect the West from the Soviets. Like, that was our goal. And it's like, eh, I think eh. Eh, you guys did some other things. What about the Jews? Like, yeah, ah. well, oh, they were Soviets. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing. They thought that Bolshevism was like a Jewish plan. Really? They thought like the Soviet thing was, yeah. Did they think that? Or did Hitler be like, eh, no, yeah, Bolshevism Hitler was like, a... yeah, and our enemies are definitely Jews too. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, he was pushing that from early on. He was like, let's go, uh, let's go burn down the city. I was like, eh, well, that was because... He was a soldier in World War One. He uh, he was apparently he was like wounded and was like a good World War One like mm-hmm. vet. I mean, he probably added that sure. after after the fact because yeah. he controlled you know the narrative. But uh, when they lost World War One, a lot of the Germans were like, "Well, what the fuck was that for? Why did we do that? Oh, it was just the polit- It was the Jews that made us do that." Damn. They like blamed. So it, was, it was easy to fucking. That yeah. was easy to flip the script on them. Especially you got a whole country of World War One vets. Yeah. And everybody who had like people die in World War One. Pretty disgruntled, yeah. And if somebody gets on the mic and is like, "Hey, you know why we fought? It was the dudes at the top. They made us do that. Yeah. Now we're the dudes at the top. You want to do it again? <laughs> Same exact <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> Uh yeah, we're fucking rambling here. That's no, dude. You every time you start talking history, dude. For some I always reason, get in my own head. About use your it. goddamn, dude. You're a fucking trained historian. Um, I love, I love sitting here and listening to this stuff. What's up? What you got? What you got oh, going nice. on, dude? Plug it up. Oh, this fucking couch company. They what just, about it? dude? I used Google Express to buy a couch. Yeah. For so copped couch. We had fucking bed bugs a while ago. <gasps> we had bed bugs like probably like. Six months. Do you guys ago? use mattress covers? Yeah. Okay. Does that helps. Yes. Mattress covers and all like everything. And yeah. We got an exterminator. Bed bugs are gone. Sure. They haven't come back. We've had like traps. Nothing. And, bed uh, bug traps. Yeah. What do they look they like? These like weird like. Look like a mattress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a mattress you check every few weeks. Uh, but we threw out our couch. We threw everything out. Yeah. My apartment's fucking empty. That's My awesome. living room is two folding chairs. That's tight. It's fucking wild. That's so fucking wild. But funny. I've been trying to buy a couch. Mm-hmm. And Google Express, I bought a couch. They were like, two weeks later, they were like, oh, sorry, your order, when we went to check, we're out of stock. Dude, furniture places do that all the time. They're like, you buy a couch, it takes like a month. Yeah. So then I immediately called them. They gave me 20 bucks. Called Google? Yeah, I called Google Express. Which, is that even a real thing? I think I might just be giving $700 to these Somalians. I don't know, I have no dude. idea what I'm doing. So I then I called them back. They're like, yeah, we'll give you 20 bucks. So I was like, all right, I'll buy a different couch. Then I got a fucking email that said it was canceled. Yeah. Again. Another couch. They're out of stock. And then. You're just like, give me any couch. I'll take it. And then the other day on fucking Friday, I get to the, I get to my front door and a couch was delivered. What? And so I'm fucking stoked. I'm like, yes, dude, finally. Get a fucking couch in here. What is it? They sent me one third of a couch. What the fuck? They sent me like a bunch of cushions. Google Express fucked you? Yeah, they sent me like half of a couch. It's insane. That's fucking bullshit. There's no Where's fucking the arm, there's no armrest or Where's back the rest? Is the rest coming? Just mat- I don't know. Oh, t- Tommy just texted me and said that 
the rest of it's here. Google it's Express ripped game. apart. It's like got rips in it. What the yeah. fuck? I don't know. I never heard of the Google Express. I didn't either. I think Google Express might be fake, and I'm a moron. They're just like piecemealing. Yeah, like, they're just junk like sending junk, and he'll keep sending. Google us Express be tight. Then you just go to on free Craigslist, and you're like, yeah, here you go. Just like yeah, pick it out and drop here's it off. Garbage. Here's some shit. This moron keeps sending us money. Is it ripped too? I don't know. Call, go- call Google. Google is letting me down, dude. Right, that's what they do, dude. There's probably a Google couch probably has like sensors and bugs everything. They're just out to collect data. True. She. She. Uh, May 11th. Oh my God! May 11th, Helium that's Comedy Club. That's a big one, man. That's this is. I'm very excited about it. Oh, sure. we didn't even talk about it on this. What? We talked about it on the Patreon. I just lost a bet. Oh yeah. I have to. I, I don't think anyone cares, but it's going to be horrific. Your facial hair. You're not even able to see it, man. My facial hair is going to be gross. When? When's it? When can you cut it? May 22nd. Ah, it's going to look fine. It's going to look good, dude. You're, it's gonna fuel you. You're I'm gonna probably... look like fucking Chum Lee from Pawn Stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. You look good, dude. But just slick your hair back. I should slick my hair slick back. Slick it back for just that. Grow one. out a fucking gross patchy neck beard. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> slick your hair back on all sides, dude. Take uh, the stage. So May, May 11th, I'll have a fucking thick neck beard That's for be you. Tight. I got a nice mustache, decent soul patch. For sure. And then after that, it kind of tapers off. Nah, it's going to look nice, dude. You're going to look real fucking I got good. like 10 You're going to look like a prisoner ha- of war. I'm going to get like 10 long hairs on my sides, on my sideburns. It's going to be tight. It's going to be nice. But uh, May 11th, McCuskey. No O'Con- guest spot, dude. O'Connor, Beezer. I'm going to do two minutes. I'm going to headline. It's going to be great. Oh, dude, did I tell you? Fuck- I told you about this, how Beezer's, uh, Be- Beezer's sister. It was online dating. Yeah. Came across one of the dogs, dude. One of the dogs got a hold. Saw Beezer in one of her profile pictures. and was like, dude, I fucking love the cast. Oh, Beezer's the man. man. She was instantly like, delete. Damn. She broke Fuck, the connection. I forget the guy's name in Queens when I was on the phone with you. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I think yeah, it was Frankie. I think it was Frankie. Was it Frankie? The Shout nation's, been, the nation's been strong, dude. Shout out Nation's been fucking sick. Dude, it's crazy. That's the second time it's happened. I've been walking in Queens and someone will just like hold out their phone and be like, listen to the cast right now, bro. Just, when when are you driving you back to New York? Day. When are you driving back to New York? Right when we're done. Okay. I might call you on the ride back and try to get one of a loyal Shat Nation. Oh, yeah. Double Patreon. Double Patreon's page. gonna be blowing up. Whew. So get ready. I'll try to figure out a way to three way call yeah. or something. So Yeah, it'll be sick. Be ready. Uh all right. God bless you. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. In front of the chapel I'm lean back with the less pull Shit I smoke is like cholesterol Spill dressing on the vest at the festival The best of all Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call